Good afternoon, everyone. It's your favorite girl, Tawana Lachey, your girl next door, your cousin next door. Um, welcome back into my YouTube channel. Today, um, we'll be talking a little bit about hair, but I really, really, really kind of want to talk about like how I understand that this business can be a struggle. But I want to encourage somebody today um, that's starting their hair business that your struggle it's gonna be your success, okay? So I want you to follow me here. Now, in my last video, um, I showed you that I actually put a wig together um, for the first time um, with some hair that I have been testing from vendors. And if you don't have a clue what I'm speaking of, go back into my previous videos and you will know exactly what I'm speaking of. Anywho, I hope, certainly hope you guys are having a great day out there in YouTube land. Anyway, my hair is rocking right along, still, still, still enjoying it. Um, no shedding. Well, well, I told you guys in the previous video, I don't talk about perfect things, so I'll say minimum, 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 minimum um, to no shedding. I'm really, really enjoying this hair, and I've got so many compliments on the hair, but I still have not been confident enough to tell these people that at some point I'm launching this hair company. Um, but I take the time to remember those people, write their names down, write their information down so that I can put that in my lockbox. And then I'll go back to those same people as time goes on and hopefully they'll become some uh, faithful customers to me. So first things first, I want to go over like five things that you're going to experience when you're doing this. And I want you to know it's okay. It's okay. All right. Don't get frustrated. Don't get overwhelmed. It's okay. All right. One of the first things that I um, want to speak about today is, and of course, if you're getting a little confused on this one, go back in the previous videos. But anyway, you'll, 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 if you've been following me, then you know that I'm on my journey of trying to find the best virgin hair vendors um, out there. Um, I'm testing it on my own hair. I'm trying out different vendors and this sort of thing. So I kind of want to give you um, an update as to some of the challenges that I've uh Come or some of the challenges that I've experienced up to this point, I'm sorry. But anyway, the one thing that I've learned is that when you are trying to find vendors, um, if you keep on a roll like I have, like I'm serious about this. So if you keep on a roll, you're going to learn that, or I, I believe this myself, I believe those vendors share your information. So for example, what I'm saying is, is that say for example you buy from one vendor you you buy a test you buy a test uh, business package or whatever um, I sort of think that those people are especially if they're vendors in China I believe those people are friends to the other ones so if you're on um, any social media network however you're looking for your vendors you're gonna learn that or you're gonna run into a situation where you're gonna become overwhelmed with them. So that's my number one. Can you see this? Or am I flipping this thing the wrong way? Am I flipping this? I don't know. Y'all forgive me, but anyway, I'm just gonna say being overwhelmed with, with vendors wanting your business, okay? Now, if you're like me and you are testing out this business or you're on your journey, um, a lot of you guys may, you know, have money to burn. But for me, that's just not my situation. So for me, um, I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget. So I don't have resources to try this one, that one, that one, and that one. And also along with that, I'm just a one woman band. Um, I can't do it all on my own. So I have to take the time out. So that's one of the things that I've experienced does this for. You're going to be overwhelmed. And it's very important. It's very important not to let them overwhelm you. Know what you're going for. If you know that this month I'm going to spend $500, $600 on uh, this particular vendor because I want to test their hair, don't get thrown off because all these over here, all these over here are still wanting you to buy from them, blah, 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 and I can do this for you. Don't do it. Now, I will say this. Keep their information. Keep their information. And if they're consistent, if they keep on checking on you and say, hey, you know, I was just wondering, have you blah, 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 blah. Definitely keep their information because that means that they're serious about their business, okay? But don't let it throw you off. Uh, you, the typical person is not going to have, you know, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 on hand and just go blow. 
and, and, and buy hair. So that's one thing. Now my paper spell on the floor, so let me grab them. We'll get to number two. All right. Now the second thing, the second um, struggle that I feel like I've experienced at this point is like, you're still, most of us that are starting a hair business, we're still working. We're still working. In my case, I own my own business. So I'm still having to be the accountant, the janitor, the, the, the hairstylist, the loctician, the, uh, the, the bill payer, the, all those. And I still have to make sure that I'm still testing vendors. So it's important to try your best to put these things in their different categories and their different boxes. Because just because you are interested in venturing in this type of business, you still can't sit your other stuff down. Because it's gonna take those things in some cases to finance this business, okay? So you just can't just shut off or you know start slacking at work or slacking in your own business for this. No, 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 no. We have to keep up. And if you're serious about doing this, of course, my phone's gonna ring because I'm doing a video, so hold I will certainly get back with them. Um, but again, we cannot slack. If this business is important to you, then you'll some way, somehow, you'll find a balance. You'll find a balance. So we still have to make sure that our our homes, uh, if we're working, if we're running our own business, we still have to kind of mix all these things together and still do them well, if that makes sense. So the third one, your personal life, okay? For most of you that are watching me right now, you're a mother, you're a wife, you're a girlfriend, you're a whatever you got going on. You're a cheerleader coach. You got a lot of stuff going on, okay? And you still have to maintain and put in all your due diligence into this business, whether it be going researching this, trying to find the best label, uh, researching who you'd like to do your website. So sometimes there's no, there's no rest. There's no risk. But if this is something that you're serious about, if you really, really want to do this, then you'll know that it will certainly be worth your time um, in the end. And we have to keep a positive attitude throughout this. Okay? We still have to keep a positive attitude. Even though sometimes, you know, I'm so overwhelmed with papers and uh, numbers and breaking down this bundle and this person's going to call me back because they're, you know, um, they're supposed to send me this or I spoke to them early in the day. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Sometimes I even forget. I mean, I'm a mother. My son is into sports, but I never use what my dream is. My dream is to open uh, a virgin uh, hair company, you know, so I never let that get in between my real life, being a wife, being a mom, you know, I still have to do those things, okay, but I just believe and I have no doubt that I'm going to be one of the best virgin hair companies in the world, okay, if you don't believe it, then who else is going to believe it, right, so there you go, all right, now, the next one, that most people, most people struggle with. Everybody would love to have a hair business if they knew how to construct it. Everyone would love to have a uh, virgin hair company if they could do it, but everybody just can't do it. So where does the financing come in? Where does the financing come in? We have to have these type businesses financed. And the financing, um, in most cases, is not just laying around. It's not just laying around on the ground. You know, we have to we have to make a plan and we have to execute this plan, okay? So whatever it may be. Say, for example, you just work a regular job and you are kind of barely making ends meet on your regular job. And guess what? We got to find something extra to do on the side to finance this. Because if you're serious about this, there's no excuse. Um, there's no excuse. Um, everybody's excuse could be, I don't have any money. Everybody's excuse could be, I don't have time. Every successful hair company, if you actually contacted them or if they actually come to your event and speak, you would not believe some of the horror stories. You would not believe some of the things that they went to. So keep that in mind. Now, after this, how much time do we have left? After after we've you know researched these companies, after we've had to take children to the ball field, after we've had to do this and that, that how much time do we have left after that? So that's why it's very important to maximize your time. You look on that calendar. Look on the days that you're going to do this. Look, at, look on the days or the slots that you've allotted to do this and stand by. Stand by. Even me. Um, looks like my camera's getting a little blurry. Okay, there we go. Anyway, 
even me, you know, taking the time to make these YouTube videos. Or if you can see here, you can, uh -oh, you can even see, you know, a wig that I'm constructing, you know, right now. This takes time. It's not easy. But if it was easy, then everyone could do it. Um, finally, this one is very important. Very important. Very important. I want you to know. I'm having to hold my camera now, you guys. Forgive me. But anyway, I want you to know. Just because you're at step number one. Just because you're at step number one. Okay? Don't compare it. Sorry. Don't compare it to someone else's step number 21 is what I mean. Okay, so if you see a girl in your uh, city or, you know, a girl in your circle, it seems like she's doing well. Like she's blowing it up, right? You don't know what step she's at. Okay, you have no idea how long she's been researching this. You have no idea what she's went through. So always celebrate where you are. Okay, celebrate who you are. Celebrate where you are. If the only thing that you got done today was to make you a new Facebook page or Instagram page. Celebrate that. Write that down. You're doing well. You're moving forward. Okay? Don't beat yourself up about these things. Okay? We need positive energy. We need positive friends. We need positive all these things. And the first person that we need to be positive is you. You. I. All right. So, that's my spiel for today. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. Share it with your friends. And I'll be hitting you up with another video very soon. Until then, ciao for now.